Do you know why salt is used to preserve food like kimchi and fish? Stay tuned and find out. When salt is added to food, cells in food lose water by osmosis. The lack of water in the cells prevents the growth of bacteria and therefore makes the food last longer. Hi, I'm Lo, and today we are talking about movement of substances across the plasma membrane. Cells need to obtain nutrients and oxygen. At the same time, cells also need to get rid of their waste products. This can be done by transporting these substances across the plasma membrane. There are two types of transport of substances across the plasma membrane, passive transport and active transport. In passive transport, the substances move across the plasma membrane from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. The substances are moving down the concentration gradient. This process does not need energy. There are three types of passive transport simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis. In simple diffusion, substances move across the phospholipid bilayer of the plasma membrane down the concentration gradient until an equilibrium is reached. Facilitated diffusion occurs when substances are being transported down the concentration gradient with the help of carrier proteins or pore proteins. Osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration across a semi-permeable membrane. In active transport, energy and carrier proteins are needed. This is because molecules move from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration. The molecules are moving against the concentration gradient. So, just a quick recap. Let's try some questions. Figure 11 shows the ion concentrations in the cell sap of an alga and the surrounding pond water. Which process produces the higher ion concentration in cell sap compared to that of the pond water? A. Simple diffusion B. Facilitated diffusion C. Osmosis D. Active transport the phospholipid bilayer of a plasma membrane is not permeable to charged ions. So, mineral ions cannot enter the cell by simple diffusion. If facilitated diffusion is involved, the mineral ions will be transported across the plasma membrane until the concentration of ions becomes the same on both sides. So, option A and B are incorrect. Osmosis only involves the movement of water molecules and not mineral ions. Therefore, option C is also incorrect. Therefore, the correct answer is D, active transport. Active transport moves the mineral ions into the cell set using energy. This leads to accumulation of mineral ions in the cell set. Let's try another question. Figure 12 shows a potato with a cavity containing 10% sucrose solution placed in a beaker with distilled water. The potato is left for one hour. Describe what happens. Water molecules move from the distilled water into the potato cells by osmosis. Water molecules also move from the potato cells into the sucrose solution by osmosis. This is because the water concentration in the cells is higher than that in the sucrose solution. Therefore, the level of sucrose solution will rise. Remember, biology is easy to understand if you relate it to real life. I'm Lo, and I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Biology.